What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the day, well actually yesterday was, but the Galaxy One UI 2.0 beta is live for the Galaxy Note 10 unlocked version. Note 10, Note 10 Plus unlocked version. So you have to have USA unlocked version of this phone. If you have the Verizon or T-Mobile or Sprint or AT&T version, you can't do this unfortunately. But regardless, if you wanna do it, you first of all need the Samsung Members app and you can get it if you don't already have it by going into the Google Play Store, search for Samsung Members, download it, install it, sign in with your Samsung account and you will be on your way. What happens after that is when you go into that Members app, you're gonna see right on the front page there, um, or at least you should, and if you don't, you can always hit the bell in the top right. You should see right here, as you can see, One UI 2 Beta with Android 10. Be one of the first to experience the new interface, and you hit that register button. Once you hit that register button, what you're gonna end up seeing is this screen right here where you're going to register for the Samsung Beta. Just click on that and go through the steps of registering, and then, what you're gonna end up seeing after that is everything that basically comes with the beta. And here's a little screenshot. So you can see Netflix application is currently not available in the Play Store on the One UI beta software. I did mention this on another video and these are gonna be known issues. <clears throat> Users who updated the latest version of the Netflix app before the upgrade to beta software can continue using the app if the device is reset, Netflix cannot be restored or downloaded at this time. So just make sure before you do this beta that you have Netflix installed. Also, it does not work when setting the default message app with the third party app. Manual setting is possible on setting. So if you're looking to uh, change the default message app with the third party app, it looks like that's gonna give you some issues. Also no response to the Samsung Note uh, when select menu, please update the Samsung Note via Galaxy Store. <clears throat> Galaxy is, uh, Google Assistant has no sound on Android Auto, which I don't know how many people use Android Auto. I have it with my car and I never use it. When the fingerprint sensor is not working, please delete the fingerprint template that was used before and re-register it. If it still doesn't work, register an error report. So your fingerprint may give you some issues. It looks like the gallery album app disappears on device reboot. <laughs> Uh, to use DeX, which on the PC and Android 10, you need to install the beta version of DeX for PC app. Beta version of DeX for PC app will be um, announced separately for the beta community. And then some other things, as you can see in the blue writing, some apps including the calculator, Samsung internet app, Samsung health, Samsung notes need to be updated individually after you update your OS. Also errors can occur, occur during updates, so kindly back up your important data before the update, which is always kind of obvious, uh, hopefully for you guys at this point. And then some of the new features, you can see dark mode, enhanced image text color adjustments um, for day and night improvements, darkened wallpapers, widgets, uh, alarms while dark mode is on, icons and colors, clearer app icons and system colors, improved layouts for titles, buttons to eliminate wasted screen space, smoother animations, enhanced animations with a playful touch. That's nice that they <clears throat> made that uh, smoother. That's always good to see smoother animations. Full screen gestures added new navigation gestures in there. So it should have those new Google um, gestures that were in there where you can swipe from the right to the left to go back, swipe up to go home and to bring up the recent apps. Refined interactions, navigate more comfortably on large screens with minimal finger movement, easily focus on what matters with clearly highlighted buttons, one-handed mode, accessibility, better text over wallpapers, biometrics is added options for showing the fingerprint icon when the screen is off. You can choose to show it whenever you tap to keep it visible when the always on display is on. Device care, the battery use graph can now provides more detailed animation information. Added battery limit setting and other enhancements for wireless power share, so that was one of the new things. Uh, obviously camera is gonna be a big thing, so they added the ability to edit the modes that appear at the bottom of the screen. Provided a more tab so you can quickly access hidden modes from the preview, preview screen. Also they improved the layout so you can focus on taking pictures without the setting getting in the way. Internet, customize the quick menu to get instant access to the features you use the most. Get more information from the, from the app bar, and you can install add-ons from the Galaxy Store to get even more features, and so on and so forth here. So very nice update. 
So if you haven't already done this app, you should be able to easily get it. Just go into that Samsung members app, register, and then make sure you head over into your settings and then software updates to download and install the update and then restart your phone and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you downloaded the beta and what you actually think about it. I definitely would have, but I'm still looking for my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Oh my God. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road. Peace.